For many Hawaii students, they head to class with books, pencils, and their cell phones. But that is changing for some island students. Our Paul Drews has a story that's all new at six. It's back to school at Iolani. And in addition to the change for students of returning to the classroom, there's also a change in the school's cell phone policy. In our lower school, you couldn't bring your phone to school. This year, we've extended that, uh, grades 7 through 9, so you can't use your cell phone on campus during the school day. And we're spending the year talking to the 10th through 12th graders about how we might do something similar for them moving forward. This change comes as a number of schools, cities, and even states across the country have banned cell phones from the classroom. Hawaii's public schools leave the decision over cell phones up to individual schools and teachers. Our school has taken a stance for more than a decade here that we will not allow schools, uh, students to use cell phones as soon as they're on campus. He's seen the difference in learning between schools where cell phones are allowed and where they're not, like in his eighth grade social studies class. Students can actually focus on their learning, which is their main goal. Um, they can socialize, which will help their social emotional learning. Everyone can actually interact with each other on a day-to-day basis on a level instead of screen and face. Students focused on apps and messaging instead of on a teacher can be a disruption to learning, but it's the personal interaction disruption that prompted the change at Iolani School. If you spend a lot of time on your phone, there's something else you're not doing. And, you know, the research and all schools believe kids connecting with each other is a really important part of growing up. The school does make medical exceptions for students that use cell phones to help monitor their health. And for parents worried about reaching their kids, and we all went to school, right? If we needed to get in touch with parents, we know how. If the parents need to get in touch with their student, we know how, right? So it's just falling back a little bit to the way schools used to operate. So what's new at school is more of them are going old school when it comes to learning without cell phones. They would actually be able to make the face-to-face -face contact, which they'd be able to actually grow and actually see in real life and develop and use more of those critical thinking skills that we, we desperately need them to have and not instantly try to Google something, but actually start to think about it and make connections, whether it's an emotional connection, whether it's connection through the um, reading, something like that. We just need a lot more of that. And I think when they disengage from the cell phone, they'll be able to engage more in everything else. Paul Drews, Island News.